We present real-time deep dynamic characters. We propose a learning-based method for generating a 3D character with motion-dependent geometry, as well as motion and view-dependent dynamic textures from a sequence of body poses. To model geometry, and in particular clothing deformations, recent works combine classical skinning techniques with a learned mapping from skeletal motion to non-rigid deformations. One line of work learns from real data, but their results either lack realism or are limited to partial clothing, for example a t-shirt. More importantly, as they rely on ground truth registered 3D geometry, they require expensive 3D scanners and challenging template registration. Another line of work tries to learn from a large database of simulated clothes. While they can generalize across clothing categories and achieve faster runtimes than physics simulations, the realism is still limited to the quality of training data generated by the physics engine. All have in common that they only model geometry, but not texture. To overcome this, neural rendering approaches for humans learn a mapping from a CG rendering to a photorealistic image, but the results have limited resolution and quality, and struggle with consistency when changing pose and viewpoint. To address these shortcomings, we propose a learning-based method that predicts the non-rigid character surface deformation of the full human body, as well as a dynamic texture from skeletal motion. Furthermore, our approach only relies on weak supervision in the form of multi-view images during training. Our method can run at over 30 frames per second at inference time. Thus it allows for interactive editing, where a user can change the skeletal pose and immediately see the deformed and textured model. Further, our approach can be used for motion retargeting, where we extract the driving motion from a video capture and use it to drive a video realistic CG character. Our method also allows video synthesis. As our results look video realistic, they can be used to augment real videos. Last, as our method provides a full 3D model, we can also perform free viewpoint rendering, where users can define arbitrary virtual camera path. Our method requires a textured 3D template of the actor. The template mesh is manually rigged to a skeleton and we automatically compute an underlying embedded graph. For training data, we capture the subject in a multi-view green screen studio where camera calibration is available. We then ask the subject to perform various types of motions. For all frames and views, we then acquire the foreground segmentation using color keying. As our method takes a motion sequence as input, we capture the motion of the actor using a multi-view markerless motion capture system. Our approach takes the current pose and a frame window of past motions of the moving subject as input. To regress non-rigid deformations, we proceed in a course to fine manner. Therefore, our EGNet regresses the deformation as rotation and translation at each node of a coarse embedded graph supervised only on foreground masks. Next we define a differentiable rendering layer which allows us to optimize the scene lighting. Finally, our delta net regresses per vertex displacements to model fine level deformations that cannot be captured by the embedded graph. This network can be trained with a dense rendering loss using the previously optimized scene lighting. Last, our dynamic texture network, TextNet, takes a motion and camera pose encoded in texture space and outputs a dynamic texture to further enhance the realism of our 3D character. Here we show the outputs of each individual module and our final video realistic result. We also visualize results using unseen body motions rendered from a novel camera view. We show the driving skeleton motion overlaid in the tracking video in the top corner. Note that this video is not an input to our method we only use the skeletal motion as input. Our regress deformations and dynamic texture look photorealistic and all pixels are synthesized by our approach. We also evaluate our approach on an existing dataset with fewer cameras. Note that even with fewer cameras, our results look visually plausible. Further, our method works for different clothing categories, including more loose apparel like skirts. Here we show test motions in the same scene, which allows augmenting the empty background that we captured with our synthesized characters. Our method allows augmenting the video with virtual doubles. The skeleton is driving our virtual character. 
as we predict full 3D geometry, we can also render from arbitrary viewpoints. Moreover, our approach synthesizes motion-dependent dynamics, such as cloth deformation, without explicit physics simulation. Again, we show results on an existing dataset with fewer cameras. Here, we synthesize the iconic bullet time effect for two different subjects. The most related works to our approach are the works of Xu, Casas, and Shishaya and colleagues, as they also assume multi-view video data is given. However, none of them provides either code or data that could be used for a comparison. Thus, we conceptually compare our work to theirs in the following. The earlier works of Xu and Casas et al. rely on time-consuming retrieval-based techniques. Thus their approaches can barely generalize to new motions. Their results mainly show motions that are close to the ones in the database. In contrast, our deep neural network learns to generalize to arbitrary motions as shown earlier and contains less artifacts than these previous methods, for example smoother frame-to-frame -frame transitions. More recently, textured neural avatars was proposed as the first learning-based approach for creating controllable and textured characters. In contrast to our approach, they model geometry not explicitly but use dense pose as a geometric proxy in image space. As a consequence, their approach cannot model a space-time coherent 3D geometry, and their results suffer from artifacts like missing limbs. Moreover, they can only synthesize the character with static texture, and therefore they cannot model motion and view-dependent appearance effects. In contrast, our approach predicts a dense deforming geometry. Thus, limbs are not disappearing. Moreover, we predict a dynamic texture map, which accounts for pose and view-dependent effects. Note, for example, the view-dependent reflections on the shoulder and back of the person. Here we evaluate the importance of our displacement layer on top of the embedded deformation. One can clearly see that the additional vertex displacements improve the reconstruction accuracy, as they are able to capture fine-level wrinkles and deformations. Finally, we compare our dynamic texture with the static one. We observe that the dynamic texture improves the realism of the rendering as motion-dependent wrinkles and shadows are formed. Thank you for your attention.